This video should be titled The Video Where Tahira Doesn't Talk. This is a segment of Keith Talks. Just a little Tahira bit doesn't. more. Tahira doesn't. Just a little bit more. Tahira interjects inappropriately. A lot. <laughs> Righty ho. So, being that we are. I, I'm still allowed to do the intros. Oh, of course, go ahead. You are emceeing. Intro queen. We're on your screens. Second week of Ramadan. That means we love you guys. Because right now, all I want to do is sleep, take a nap. My mouth doesn't feel happy. Feels starchy. So basically, uh, we just wanted to shout out I Am Cass. I'll put it at the bottom there. He hosted his own segment on Ramadan 2017 FM, where we were cyber stars. We did not pick that name, by the way. We don't think we're cyber stars. A lot of people didn't see the interview, so you don't even have to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, just a little, little, little thing we did. It was live on Facebook and whatnot. And um, that radio station has created a platform for Muslim YouTubers and Muslim vloggers who are getting out there and, yeah, just creating a little spotlight for them. And, yeah, we was on it last Saturday. So, Ramadan vlog two, and basically the topic that we have, we are covering today, and second most requested topic on our channel. My transition to- Don't say that, that sounds like drag queen lingo. You've been watching too much RuPaul's Drag Race. I should be talking about this Ramadan. Okay, anyway. We're all of that out. Oh my God. Basically, today is, we're talking my about- road. On the road again. To Islam. And the 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 road that was taken, the, the beginning, the origin, the genesis of Keith and Islam. That's about that. I don't know what you're doing over there, I'm but just doing my own I guess that's that's what she'll be doing throughout the whole video. You know what? I'm just gonna go and find something because So gosh. It's Keith here. Um just really wanted to let you guys know what what I actually went through when it came to this is not a good thing. to this 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 beautiful lifestyle that they call Islam. Um, I found my way back onto the road of Islam, and I said on my road back uh, because everyone I believe is born into it. it. Depends on the culture that you're born into, the race class so on and so forth what your parents are yeah you start off like that and then branch off not to say that you've lost your way or it's a bad road that you go down like if you were born into a christian household does not mean at all that i was at all condemned to be bad or anything of that sort i think that's just the journey that god wants you to take yeah because within christianity um many of the values that was upheld in my household in the christian household still gets upheld today in this islamic one so um not too far away They're very very close first cousins if anything if not brothers and sisters within the same religion history and values are the same yeah very much so uh the characters still very much so the same probably pronounced a little bit more differently nevertheless all still the same still revered all the same way um so it was quite an easy transition for myself but it all started with me coming here uh that's back in 2000 and eight at the end of 2008 okay so i wasn't on the scene until 2010 so because of that there was a lot of running around that Keith did. He was in the clubs. Ew! Did you just say in the clubs? <laughs> in the clubs. Would it be uh, worse if you said in the club? And um, doing all types of debauchery. Ratchet. I was a very good ratchet. Um, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be proud of that. I was a very good ratchet when ratchet was in, but nevertheless, uh, it was cool at that point in time. I was ratchet at the age that I was supposed to be at, but then the thing about 
ages they increase. We should, we should insert pictures. Never mind. The thing about ages they increase, uh, and you become wiser, and uh, you start wanting for more different things within within yourself. And I just needed something else. Just need a little bit of. of Do you feel like what you had then? Even though it's part of your youth, wasn't feeling like an empty. There was an empty space. Uh, no. Or it's more like you were moving on to the next chapter. I was moving on to the next chapter of sorts. I was a person of logic then. I'm a person of logic now, and uh, I need to be able to have things proven to me. Like if you're gonna come to me with uh, certain facts and stuff of that sort you're gonna have to really show me or give me some some type of solidified thing. So, came here, got with the Asian community. Not to say anything bad, with the, like I have my boys, I have my black boys, I have Caucasian boys, but. That thought they were black. <laughs> Shout out to Steve. Oh. <laughs> Back in New York, all I knew was Habibi and at the corner store, you feel me? I want that on my hero, so on and so forth. But it's a whole lot different over here. Like I was in the Shisha lounges with 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 all types of Hassans and, and Husseins and, <laughs> and Muhammad's and so on and so forth. Hey. At least it's an honest journey. But it's real, it's you know what I mean? So yeah. Obviously, I'll, I'll be possibly nursing myself from the night previous going to a party. So I'm in the shisha lounge with, with these boys and we'll just be talking about life, just period, just life and and things to make us happy going into the future and the values that we hold. And like I had a couple of brothers that said that, yo, there's something different about you and and I, was, I didn't pay it any mind. Like, really, it didn't really, really didn't shake me. They're like, ah, oh, you should come to more. So I was like, ah, you need to chill out. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't know, because obviously I had my reservations being ignorant at that point in time. The just, media didn't help at that time either. Obviously not, but nevertheless, I wasn't too much media in tune. I don't listen to the news now, dude, like, That's to this true. point. So, so like, so, um, but that is true though. Um, just interjecting, please. that is when I first met Keith as well. Not in the Shisha Lounge, <laughs> but the thing is, when I initially met him, I noticed that about Keith as well. Keith didn't ever brag about anything, and he never said, Oh, yeah, I've been looking into Islam. I didn't even know that about him. He keeps himself to himself, and he keeps things that are important to him private to himself. And I just noticed his attributes were, I don't know, he was just. And this is also to you know to credit his mother as well but he had very he was very polite he was very well mannered he was very respectful of women and obviously these are all the mannerisms that you look for in a person that's trying to be a good muslim i always say you gotta be a good person before you can even step into the realm of calling yourself a good muslim like that yeah but i mean it's just something it was just a it was just a thought in my head obviously i never told him that until way after when me and keith met we used to love like debating religion and it was really interesting to see how many similarities christianity and islam had i didn't even know that keith had this prior knowledge of islam that he'd been discussing with his friends and his intentions he didn't even tell me that it was just when we were first initially friends we just used to love going back and forth about things like this and keith was always very intrigued about how passionate i was about my faith and to to like to a scary extent <laughs> but but nevertheless it it was still beautiful to see uh obviously as i said i was part of the club kids so you got a pretty face you would think that she was out there twerking something like that but it's not she was passionate about something else other than that yeah, it wasn't twerking so it surely wasn't twerking so um but outside of not mentioning it to, to hear it it was also i needed to understand it myself uh, that goes back to the fact of it had to make sense so i'm not about to bring these facts to her if it didn't make sense to myself and it had to make sense but nevertheless uh 
I just kept going to these sessions, shisha sessions. Yeah. Is it kind of like fed into your subconscious without even realizing? Shisha sessions, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Huh? Yes, yes, subconscious. But nevertheless, uh, then there was an older gentleman that these these brothers brought through. Uh, I got respect for whether it be women or not elderly, but my OGs, you know what I mean? And that also goes back to the neighborhood. So you bring an OG to me, I got to at least listen to what you're saying. If it makes sense, then it makes sense. If it don't, then you're a drunkard, so I, I don't got to listen to you. <laughs> but nevertheless, this gentleman came to me and spit some 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 facts. Like, he, he explained halal meat to me, for example, when I was like, that makes perfect sense. Like, why am I eating anything else? Like, what, what kind of sense does that make? And I always refer back to the halal meat because everyone, if unless you're a vegan, everyone understands or you can relate to that. I'm like, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. And then he dropped other jewels to me that I'm not going to really bore you guys with. But nevertheless, I said, you know what? Let me give give a lecture a try. Let me go go sit in on a lecture. And the lecture was not biased. I was expecting it due to the fact of my ignorance. I was expecting it to be biased. In other words, I wasn't going to know anything of, of the, the history at all. But all of the history I've learned before, all the history I've learned before within Christianity coincided with Islam. So like, it was like, oh, oh, I, I know this, I know this story. Excuse me. Because obviously, you know, we're, as you guys all know, well, especially if you're a Muslim, we're all linked. So the three religions, which are Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, Muslims, call Christians and Jews the people of the book because they are in our book and all our history interlinked. Anyway, carry on. So I um, sat in and it was just pivotal. I think you weren't expecting it. No, not at all. That's it it, it so threw me. I was like, oh, okay, wow. After the lecture with one of the speakers, um, a very uh, controversial speaker he was, if I had to share with certain persons that would care who I had to sit down with, you'd be surprised that that was the first person I actually spoke to. I think it's because he addressed this specific person. Um, he addresses taboos. Yeah. And he addresses the parts of culture and Islam that people don't want to talk about. But sometimes when you're trying to bring a person in, people assume that you're supposed to hide all, all the taboos and don't show them only the good parts. No, you know, some people, they need to see the full spectrum. They need to see the good, the bad and the ugly. And in fact, I think that's what, that was a big part of what brought Keith, Keith in, you know. And within two twos, like. Man said within two twos. It, like literally, it wasn't that same lecture, but I then kept going to lectures and listening to lectures on YouTube. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask what lectures I listen to. Please don't. <laughs> don't ask me what lectures. We'll, like, we'll put them in the comments. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so. you guys are free to watch if you want to. And um, I think that it's kind of like you you just want to know more. And you the more you listen to, the more you're like, wow, I'm really... You're familiarizing with it. You're like... And everything, oh, really relates to and everything made sense to me, especially in my time period right now. Like... Logic, logic, logic. I was like, and science. Okay. Yeah, everything. Yeah, Keith was really big on the, the science. Like, you part. need to make sure. Well, science, yes, but you have. If you're gonna come to me, it better make sense because otherwise, you you, you piss me off. That's why I lose all the arguments. <laughs> you piss me off, and I'm not listening anymore. So, just bring it to me straight. Bring bring me facts, and it never failed. It yeah. never failed, and it just. And I say it as though it is per personified. Allah, Allah never failed you. Yes, that's 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 true. But Islam surely didn't fail me. So that's why I was happy to go ahead and take my shahada. And and as I said, within two twos, I'm on a uh, well. I'm I know which way I'm going now. Like uh, you're and on. And he also took his shahada in Ramadan. So you. I, you wanted to throw that back then so badly. She it's, like, it's just so. Like, it's so like, mm. Let me just go ahead and put that in. Because we're in this. We're in. We're in Ramadan, so it's just. It's nice. It's nice. Y'all didn't need to know that. That's pretty much the story. Uh, there's there wasn't no fireworks or anything like. It wasn't no movie though. Like, I'm playing with the safety pin. 
it's been helping me not play with anything. And not talking. That you see, that's amazing, right? It's, it's. I'm doing really well, guys. I'm doing really well. I realize with this whole fasting, my teeth look whiter. I don't know why. I, I think it's just the camera. Nah, usually. Oh, your yeah, teeth do look really you white. It's the, blue, you know, it's the blue tone. Oh my gosh, why are you? So basically. <laughs> Our battery's dead, <laughs> so we gotta go! No, alright guys, look, listen, so that's the story, that's story time. If you have any Keith. more questions, let us know, we can elaborate. This was Keith Talks, to hear it. Fidgets. Did a little bit. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, if you're new here, welcome to our page, check out our other videos. Notification. Keith loves talking about the notification bell. Rat pack, shout out. Hashtag Rat Pack in the comments section and we will be back next week with another video. Not going to tell you what it's about because we don't even know what we're doing ourselves. Thank God, this isn't smell-o-vision. My breath is kicking. Did you just say smell-o-vision? Yes. I think it should be ending pretty soon. Salaamu Alaikum. What the hell is that? <laughs> so guys, we're going to go now. I'm about to go and get my uh, free face mask from Lush. Yeah. I need things to do while I'm fasting. See you next time, guys. Later. This time next week. Go Nando's for Iftar, and I'm so excited. Kids not coming, Nando's for me.